Hi, today we'd like to introduce Essential Scheduling to you. Essential Scheduling will allow you to launch a feature on a certain date and time. This means that you don't have to create a change request in the split platform outside your co-working hours anymore, or find approvers who are available to do approvals outside of co-working hours. Besides more relaxing evenings and weekends for you, Essential Scheduling will increase the likelihood to release on a target date because you and your team can get your ducks in a row way before the release date. To be a bit more precise, Essential Scheduling allows you to schedule one change to a feature flag in a given environment at a later time. The change may contain any modification to a feature flag via the editor. The maximum scheduling time frame is 90 days. The number of changes you can schedule in the same minute is 10. The max number of scheduling changes per month depends on your subscription tier. Now, let's look at the two examples. First, let's look at an example without an approval flow. Here, we have a feature flag called Team Collaboration Feature. Okay, now we want to release this feature to our customers that are situated in California. Okay, using a custom attribute for that. And we're going to set the treatment to on. And now what we're going to do is we're going to review the changes as usual. And here you can see we have this new radio button. We can change that the effects go in to effect immediately or at a later time. We pick at a later time. So here we want to release these changes on the next Wednesday, yeah. And we wanna do it early in the morning before our customers on the West Coast in California start their co-working hours. We don't wanna interrupt their flows. Okay, we already have the right time zone selected here and now we hit save. And now this change request is scheduled. So come the 5th of April, the next Wednesday, this change to the feature flag will be published automatically. You can go and check for that here. You see it's the 5th of April, 1 a.m. in the Los Angeles time zone, okay? And now we can just sit back and forget about it because it will happen without any additional work on our end. Now, if we wanna change this, we have two options here. We can discard the change. This will revert and delete the change request, or we can edit, which will also do a deletion of the change request, but it will pre-populate the editor with the changes from this change request. So if you only have to make a slight change, this will speed up our workflow. Uh, I want to get rid of all the changes here. I'm getting Ask if I really want to do this, and yes, I want. Okay, now <clears throat> let's move to another example. Let's assume that we want to go through an approval process. And again, here we have the same feature flag, team collaboration feature, and we set a targeting rule of use custom attribute. And again, we want to launch a feature to our customers in California. You want to serve them the on treatment and all the other users will get the off treatment. And again, we want to do it a week from now, which is the 5th of April. Again, we're presented with the radio buttons. We pick at a later time, pick a week out, which is Wednesday, the 5th of April. And we're going to do it early at 1 a.m. LA is correct. And you see here, there's an approver selected. Okay, this environment has been um, set up, so approvals are necessary, okay? So we're going to do this, save. And so our change request was submitted. And here you see this blue bar that this split has pending changes. Again, you can open the change summary and see what's happening here. Okay, it's... There's a change request that it's it should be scheduled on the 5th of April, 
but there is also an approver that needs to give their okay. Okay, now let's move over to the approver. Okay, now I'm going to refresh this page and you see, here it is. Approval request, opening that one and check the diff, all right, looks all right. Listen to the Californian users, cool, um, approve changes, confirm, okay. And let's move back. And I'm going to reload this page here. And as you can see, we have the change scheduled. The schedule encounter here shows us there is one change scheduled. And when I click on this, I can see more details. Again, the diff that's going out on the 5th of April, um, who the approval was and when it will be published. 1 a.m. Los Angeles time zone on the 5th. And that's it. Uh, we hope that you'll get a lot of value out of essential scheduling. Thanks.